in the upper bracket to the Sonics. Um, but now they've really got their act together and they find themselves against Space Station Gaming after beating G2 yesterday. Uh, G2 just completely falling apart after looking solid. Oh, look at this jump. Typical though. 1-0 already. Everybody's always talking about, you know, casters, fans, sleeping on the peeps. But to be honest, looks like uh, the peeps are snoozing in defense there. You know what happens when you snooze? One nil, typical already decimates them in the mind games. And for Space Station Gaming, their eyes are very much set on that grand finals. They'll want to make this as short as possible. They would love for this to be the most boring Rocket League series ever shown on this channel. As, uh, we do see Rattles. Always difficult to hit the ball off. He's dancing oh. around, even getting bumps on the goal line. And that will be something that the peeves have got to be very aware of for this entire series. You heard the desk mention. It has been a very, very long time. Six series they have played, and uh, the peeps have won none of them. So this is yeah. not a series that many are expecting them to try and get anything from. Yeah, the peeps have only taken a single game off uh, <laughs> them in the very play. Oh, oh look at this, though. AJ with the cheekiest goal that we will probably see all day. That is absolutely phenomenal. Just effortless. What an accurate pop to the top corner. Fantastic equalizer by East Coast AJ. Loved seeing that throughout this season. Just so many players willing to loiter in the opposing side of the field, slowly rotate back, and you know, a lot of them doing it straight through the middle as well rather than going wide. It's made them so easy to target and also very capable of taking out the third man should the attack already have escaped to their side of the field. It's not the best first touch from Arsenal, but does always have Sipical up in support. Sipical that has really flourished over the past year. Arsenal now double tap off the backboard. You don't want to give him that sort of space. Rettles looks for the back corner. Oh. It's off the crossbar. Sipical <laughs> didn't read it, but Rettles had the second chance. Yeah, what a frustrating bounce for Sipical. He pre-jumped quite early to try and read this one, but didn't get anywhere near it. Um, luckily, Rettles is there to bury his own uh, shot that he stuck on the goal line in the first place. Great placement by Rettles. Full credit as well to Arsenal. He got the entire defense to look at him. Um, and, you know, that's really what he's known for. He's always asking his opponents to, to look at him because he's looking at them. And uh, in a steering contest, Arsenal always wins. Will not blink. And right now, Space Station Gaming getting a lot of time. You can already see Arsenal waiting for it. Lays it off to Rettles. One, wow. two, three. You can't stop them. Fantastic stuff by Space Station Gaming. It looks like the peeps just didn't have anyone ready to challenge that second pass. They were closing down Arsenal. You know, that last air dribble that he went for in the previous play, probably a warning to them that they need to, you know, stop giving Arsenal this much space because he is one of the best at controlling the ball with ground dribbles, air dribbles in the entire North American scene. But you can't just uh, give space to Rettles as well. It's a problem that you run into when you play against SSG. Every single player on the team is a playmaker. They're all great team players as well. Beeps are continuing to struggle in this matchup, and it's not going to get any yeah. easier for them. Arsenal's got an open net here, and he will put it in for 4 1. The Peeps are nowhere to be seen. Just over two minutes in, they're down by three. It's the exact same spot as well for Arsenal, planted on the right hand side of the midfield. Easily found by Rettles. In that time, he did not require another pass. He could just walk that one in all by himself. Space Station Gaming 4 1 up here. And uh, all of the excitement for the peeps draining away in this game one. It's starting to realize just the, the magnitude of the challenge that will be ahead of them. Space Station Gaming, this is what we expect to see from them. One of the more consistent performers that we have seen in quite a while. AJ now towards the backboard. And one thing I did want to mention earlier on, Johnny, is that I felt like you know, people are giving a little bit too much space for those first touches. Misuji Gyro over. He's got Ooh. the shot on target. Well, if you want to talk about giving a player too much space, Gyro is high on the list of people you don't want to do that to. Yeah, what a shot from Gyro. And Sipical didn't really expect it to be that high quality, um, even though Gyro wasn't really moving that fast in the air. The ball's still coming at him with a fair uh, amount of pace itself. So any kind of touch onto it is going to accelerate that ball a little bit and make it very difficult to save. Yeah, this has really been the running theme in this game for both teams. You know, give each other too much space and you're going to get immediately punished. The uh, the peeps have absolutely got that solo ability. Here's Lucian. 
He's going to double touch way wider than it, though. That's a bit of a let off. Space Station didn't have him covered either. Yeah, but I agree with what you said earlier. You know, uh, Space Station, they played well yesterday. I'd, they, I'd say overall, they were probably the second best team on the day behind NRG who beat them. Um, and, you know, the fact that they're down in the lower bracket already isn't too worrying for SSG fans. They've been able to bounce back from positions like this before. Going to try and do it again here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see them make the run if every team brings yesterday's form to today's uh, Championship Sunday. I've uh, very much learned not to judge Rocket League day to day. We're the most difficult eSport in the world to maintain that consistency. Uh, you've got to make your predictions early though, Shogun. It doesn't count uh, if you I'm say it. I'm enjoying the know? play by play, it, buddy. It, I ain't gonna predict count. anything. <laughs> it doesn't I am the neutral anything. voice. <laughs> if I, oh, if wait I a tell second, you Rouse is gone. Wow. That is fantastic. How did he pull this one off? He just managed to just follow it up, and there is <laughs> a ceiling pinch. Wow. That one in. Rettles, hat trick hero. Just clipped it on the way back. You know, it, he didn't even have to pitch that one. It was kind of a just a, a half volley, I suppose, as the ball bounces back down off the ceiling. But it's the exact same as what a pinch would be, because in that position, the ball's moving so quickly, it, 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 it has the exact same outcome. But yeah, Space Station looked threatening, Shogun. And the peeps have put together a couple of good goals, but um, their defense is nowhere near good enough to keep Space Station giving up bay when Space Station are playing this dangerously with all three players. And I think that is something that I can expect to see peeps adjust from game to game. They've come into this very much expecting an individual style of play from Space Station Gaming. They've done a good job of setting players up for those challenges if we do see first touches and attempted air dribbles from them, but that's not been Space Station's strategy. They have been throwing players forward, leaving them around, and just finding them with every single pass. I do expect to see the peeps, you know, do a better job of tracking where those players are and incorporating that to their rotations. But for this game one, the strategy was perfect from Space Station and they are toying with them to end this game off. Five to two. There'll be no chance of the peeps making a comeback here. And the best of seven, they could do have a goal here. Right, that is not gonna come out for them. All right, so the peeps know what the challenge is. Now let's see how they react to it. All right. You're, you're not getting away from this just because you're the play-by-play -play caster, Shogun. Do peeps take more than a game here? Do they take more than mm. one game in this best of seven? That's my question to you right now. I can't wait from the desk purely to not have to make predictions <laughs> anymore, Johnny. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying my vacation from predictions. You can't force me into this. No, you, you, but I mean, <laughs> if, you, if you refuse to answer, um, then you are a chicken. So it's up to you. Oh. It, it, you can, there's nothing wrong with being a chicken, but... Um, that's you know what, what I'll say I believe in them. I believe that they can get themselves a game here. More than a game. I, more I, than I a game. More than you know a what? Game. I'm going to let the fanboy come out. I'm going to say more than a game here. All more right? than a game. I, okay. I have got too much energy here for this one to be a 4-0 or a 4-1, okay? Okay. This okay. has got to go longer than that. However, uh, we'll add a caveat to that. It would also require Space Station Gaming dropping down a few levels because that was clinical on offense the whole way through. Yeah, and from all three players as well. It's not like two of the three Space Station players have uh, shown up huge in this game and the other one's kind of just not really doing anything. Um, which, by the way, is perfectly fine if two players out of uh, Space Station are playing incredibly well. The other doesn't really have to do much to, to win these days. Um, that's the same thing you can say to all the top teams, Envy and NRG, likewise. Um, but they're all on form today. They're all getting involved in offense. They're not getting in each other's way. It was effortless. The passing was absolutely uh, spot on. And they, they were just, you know, on the same page every single attack that they made, whether it's reading each other's uh, aerial fakes, whether it's positioning perfectly to give options for passing, or just deciding, nah, I'm going to go with a solo play. Uh, Space Station just, they got it all right in that game. And I don't think that the peeps take more than a game here. I think they might get one, uh, but because every other time that they have played each other in this split, it's been Space Station winning by three games. Um, you know, either 3-0 or 4-1. So I, I wouldn't expect anything different based on what we've seen so far. There we go. Game number two, the peeps. Oh, decimated on defense last time. Oh, However, wow. a challenge okay. like that will go a long way to helping out. That's a freebie for them. And that is one that they certainly will not argue against having. Yeah, extremely risky challenge angle for Arsenal. 
Um, you know, if he's going to do that, Space Station needs to have someone in goal, or they need to have somebody between the ball and the goal, definitely. Um, but, you know, overall, you, you can't really put the blame on Rettles and Sipical for being away from uh, the goal, just marginally too far. Arsenal's flip there, just very, very dangerous angle to be taking a challenge from. Uh, it's something we don't see very often these days because of exactly what just happened. The ball can just fly into your own net. Booming clear, typical. That one's behind him, so he's got to kind of concede the territory for now. Just how quickly Space Station come back at them, especially Rattles, who will jump straight down. Demo on the play behind Rattles means that he has to half rotate and stay involved in the play. Three from the best angle. This is what we're expecting to see from Space Station Gaming. They're fearless when it comes to taking challenges in the midfield. Backboard, Jara makes sure he stays out of the way. And typical easily collects. Now one on one against AJ off the backboard. It comes up to the support cam. Oh! And it rattles versus AJ. Turns into an AJ victory. One more shot from Arsenal. They can't keep it out. Yeah, great play here by Space Station Gaming. Again, they're offloading the ball so easily to one another. And I, once again, typical continues flying here just to divert the attention away from the ball, away from Arsenal. He's coming in from a shot for a shot behind him and already Space Station equalized. They, there's no need for Space Station to be taking these risky 50-50s. They've done it a couple of times in this game. Chances are coming. Uh, great chances on goal are coming from midfield play. So, you know, I, I don't want to see SSG taking these unnecessary risks outside of the ball, um, outside edge of the ball, 50-50s in the peeps half. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, Space Station are confident in their ground game. It's a great chance for Gyro, but he's not going to get past typical. That was really the job there. Just get the ball past Sipical. Don't worry too much about putting it on target. Just make sure Sipical doesn't get a touch because he was the last man back. Oh, Gyro goes for net. He's found it. And that is another goal where it's just purely off. An unnecessary defensive play there. Yeah. There's easier ways out and Arsenal just kind of accepted a mid-air challenge. Yeah, well, we, we had another actual weak 50-50 there, or at least a weak angle of the ball is Space Station are so determined to control every single ground play and to be a, a factor in every single ground play that they're not, uh, you know, backing out of these positions that might be a bit too risky. Space Station, if there's one defensive criticism I've had for them all year, is that they do like to just queue up in that near post area. Um, they don't like to leave anybody at the back post, anybody in goal. They just all get in this little zone. They're, here they are doing it again. And they trust themselves to make the awkward touches um, like they've done here. Typical carrying the ball out of the half. But it's it's a, it's a risk, Shug. And, you know, I don't think they need to be taking these risks. Uh, they are, at least today, playing phenomenally in offense. And we do see it go across the face of goal. And you can understand, in a way, why they've got themselves in that mentality. Because there are very few teams that will even be brave enough to head over there to start challenging. Now, at that point, you're going to sort of accept, hey, we better just set up for whatever they're about to send for us. The peeps are not one of those teams that are going to respect them enough to just oh, give them that space. They will always be up there. Sipical tries to lay over their arsenals, rolls out to Rattles. <laughs> and Rattles is taking what? no prisoners today. I mean, let's talk about making something out of nothing. It, you know, it doesn't look like there's a lot on here for SSG. Rattles just believes in the play anyway, just continues uh, coming on in. And that timing of his arrival, the finishing from Rattles, it, it's really just an instinct that you need to have. And he's the third man in that play, charging it. Um, just reading exactly what's going to happen at the near post there, even though there's three players in the area, and many wouldn't really be confident in reading that. Just uh, wanting to sit back and see what happens before doing oh, so. Dead. No double commit. That's not ideal for, for the peeps, and Space Station are going to offload to Rettles. Doesn't have a lot of boost, so he has to go for the low 50. Arsenal has gone up and dunked on AJ's uh, wall clear. The peeps are also quite happy to dribble the ball out of defense. It's good to see so many teams in NA doing that these days. The control is really rising from every team. Rettles tested, passes, and actually passes to AJ, unfortunately. And the, the peeps attack is fizzling, but they, they're they getting a good bit of territory in this game. It's a bit, a bit more even in that regard. But all of a sudden, Space Station off the post. Rettles had a freebie. Yeah, you could almost tell the, the heartbeat that went away from Illusion as that one bounced above him. He needs to go a little bit earlier as now he keeps that pressure going. AJ over to the wall. You already know just how capable he is on the ball to air dribbles. So you want to keep that away from him. Off the backboard. Here comes Gyro. Taps it over to himself. And rattles already around. 
pacey defense, but out of boost from that pass. Not much left here in this game. And the peeps have got themselves a shot. Gio oh! loves the crossbar. He's got a brace. The peeps have got the lead. What a dunk that is. Illusion getting way over the top of Arsenal for it. And Rettles and Cypical couldn't get in the face of Gyro. But you're not going to save these shots from this range. Gyro, accurate shooting once again into the top shelf. He did this in the first game. It wasn't really a consequential goal. That one is, though. 40 seconds remaining, and Peeps are in the lead once again. Oh, but off the flick. AJ can't oh! get there. Arsenal sends the rocket. And there it is once again. Space Station dribbling out defense. AJ and Gyro take too long to decide who's challenging. And you cannot give Arsenal that much space. He flicks it straight down the middle with a ton of power on it. And yeah, you, you probably want to see an earlier challenge there from the Peeps just to force the flick a bit faster so that it doesn't give it that oh much of a run up. Oh, oh, what a read by Cypical. Space Station Gaming piling on the pressure. Well, the has got no boost either. He's just a spectator on that goal line front row seat to the space station onslaught and it is going to continue off the backboard illusion just to make sure that he palmed that one away from typical aj up not the best first touch from him but we know how good he is he can catch it he forces it over to a teammate oh. and it's saved by rettles the play's not over yet illusion pops it back up arsenal looks for a little bit of space where it's safe and he gets it just down for overtime Space Station have got to be careful. They're so good at dribbling out of defense, but it's becoming a bit predictable. The Peeps almost dunked on them for the finishing touch there. And a uh, goal that late really would leave, leave no time for a reply from SSG. Will SSG throw in a few hard clears just to stop the Peeps from advancing so far up the field, anticipating those dribbles out of defense? Oh, but right now they are wiping every single player off this goal line. Space Station Gaming delayed rotations back, making sure they can still boost, take out a car or two. And then eventually head on back. Oh, it looks like they attempted one hard clear. That wasn't the best there from Sipical. Gyro. Blocked oh, by five. Arsenal. Knew exactly where that was going. AJ fakes out Rettles. Can't get a second block. Now forces Gyro into a backboard save. Already up. Off the backboard one more time. AJ's going to chase down. He's got off the wall, but he's only got 15 boosts. So difficult to create something from this. Sipical has to respect him, though. In field to AJ. Knows he can't get to it. Already recovering, making his way back. Chance for SSG on the break. Illusion. Briefly last man back there, but he does control the play very well. Gives AJ and Gyro a chance to recover. One more touch from Arsenal. Doesn't take the ball past AJ, who anticipated it. The Space Station Gaming have stabilized. They're starting to steal the boosts away from the peeps. As long as they can keep the ball in the blue half, that is going to boost starve. The peeps. It's, it's, if the peeps can get hard clear, then suddenly they can contest for the mid boost and the pressure will be off. But for now, it's very much on. And the mid boost, or oh, the rather the back boost, stolen again by SSG. Peeps can't get away from this one. Yeah, Gyro needs something, but Rettles has already stolen the other corner boost. Yeah. Gyro just forced to work with a pension now. So it goes out to Sipical. Have oh. they done enough? One more off the backboard. Here comes Rettles, and it's another monstrous save. Somehow, with a brick wall made out of nothing but sticks and whatever small sticky substances they can do to use to <laughs> put them together. I believe that, is, would be a, uh, that would be a stick wall, Shogun, not a brick wall. That'd be, uh, yes, it's, it's a deployable barrier, less than a... <laughs> but right now, it is worked, and they have managed to just about escape. They just need a power clear. Arsenal already around. Gyro over to himself off the wall. Somehow, some way, the peeps still in this overtime. Arsenal again fakes low. Ultra Lucian, but Sipical already covering it. Ultra Arsenal off the backboard, leaves it. One more time for Rells. His shot's off target. Arsenal keeps it going. Zero boost for AJ. He's going to finally get 100. Oh, Ultra Sipical, you've got to do better than that, Gyro. I know you're on no boost. This is one of the most ridiculous defensive displays. Already a backboard oh. save. Sipical's too far back. AJ can now take control. His challenge gives the peeps some time. And Gyro's clear back into the midfield. Will finally leave some breathing space. 
Yeah, it's been some. It's been a long time since the peeps had a lot of boost to work with on more than one player. You know, occasionally in this attack, somebody would grab a hundred in the corner, but the other two would be completely starved. So it just doesn't really help out all that much. That being said, peeps have made some great saves here. They've uh, scrambled goal side of every single shot Space Station have taken. And now finally they get a chance to attack, but it's so short-lived. Arsenal out into the middle. One more touch towards Rettles, who's up for this, but oh Gyro's in the way of it once again. Space Station continuing to apply the pressure, though. Sipical gets it back into his own corner. There's nobody over there, though, so it's going to mean a chance for pressure here. AJ off the backboard. Now Gyro to a corner where Space Station don't have anybody around. First chance for a little bit of midfield control here from the peeps, but that double commit might mean the end of it. Rettles wants to go the whole way. Shut down by Gyro. More boost just been stolen. And Illusion provides something for them. It's Chaos! <laughs> and it's AJ who takes it very much against the run of play. Wow, what a goal. AJ just muscles it in. Gyro actually assists him in the middle of this play as well. But uh, after all that, after all the Space Station gaming's pressure, after all their shots, Wrestles had 10 shots, by the way, in this game, just in case uh, you're wondering. They didn't get the, the win, though. The peeps hang on, and, you know, they actually looked pretty good while defending with no boost here. This is a really good uh, look for them because it's probably going to happen again in this series at some point. Space Station are very good at keeping you in their half. They're very good at boost starving you. But with that kind of composure, and that kind of communication coming out of the peeps so as not to all be out of the game at the same time at all for that entire play. Very well played. And they take the chance when they get it. Okay, so that game was good fun. We're gonna we're gonna put it like that. As for my prediction earlier on, I'm halfway there. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> that's all you get, Shogun. That's uh, now, what that's they needed the, that to That was do. the most convincing win we have ever seen in Rocket right. League there, Johnny. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Well, the Peeps fans, if you're out there, you got to see that happen three more times if they're going to take down Space Station Gaming. That's for SSG. Is there really much to change bar like the defensive plays uh, that we've seen from them offensively? It felt like it was a matter of time. That I have not seen a game that felt so much like it should go for one team, go for the other. Well, you know, we saw a couple of risky 50-50s from Space Station early on in this game. We didn't see any of them at the end, and none in overtime as well, even though they were they constantly didn't have to play attacking. defense in the end. Yeah, well, even in, even in the peep set half as well, the peeps offensive corners, they weren't. And it's especially important not to give uh, bad 50-50s, or, or rather to give good 50-50s to your opponents when you're boost starving them because one of the ways that the opponents can actually get a clear is by taking a favorable 50 50. space station really didn't give any of those to uh the peeps and it made it so difficult for the peeps to ever get rid of the ball because when you don't have any momentum you don't have any boost how on earth are you supposed to hard clear it 50 50s are the only way that you can get rid of it um and ssg have really improved in that regard is typical reading this of course typical's reading this in arsenal as well space station gaming take us to the library for the first goal in game three just how? How can a player be that good? Sipical showing off yet again just what he's capable of. Arsenal have a phenomenal read just to believe in the play enough to follow it. And that's 1-0. And uh, opening goal has not really meant much throughout this series so far. Somehow this is only game three, Johnny. I feel like I've yeah. been here for an hour already. It's going to be an exhausting day for whoever does make the run here in the lower bracket. Um, but, you know, Space Station are definitely prepared for that. If the peeps do end up making the run, then you feel like it'll be even more of a marathon. Red will stop one more it. touch. Not a big enough hit on it, though. He got, you know, he got contact, and, you know, if, uh, if the peeps all just left the lobby, it might have rolled in uh, next week. But Space Station are not giving anything to the peeps right now how on earth are the peeps supposed to clear the ball when space station are faking constantly faking challenges and stealing the boost away reading every single bounce it's truly impressive although those goal line demos are gonna leave the peeps in a very tough spot too much time though spent trying to set up the next play means that they can get themselves redeployed and right now the peeps need to now show some offensive bite. They've shown us just how good they can be defensively. 
But there's only so far that can take you. Rattle's already up. Illusion realizes he's got to get to that as quickly as he possibly can. Blocks the shot at the source. Read that from Jaro. He wants the first touch to be a bit better for himself. There is credit to be given to the peeps. Whilst in game one, they were giving an awful lot of space over to Space Station Gaming. The last two games, they have not been allowing those shots and those plays to happen for free. They are getting someone over there. Speaking of which, Illusion forced to watch it bounce off the backboards. And it has forced, you know, a different side to Space Station Gaming. They've had to be very, very tricky, very, very brutal, as you see yet another demo. Rettles reacts a little bit late, oh, but he gets my. the dunk. It's off the crossbar, and the peeps are safe. Yeah, the peeps are just hanging on here. They're trying to keep this as close as possible, despite losing the previous overtime. Space Station Gaming are right back into the driver's seat for the series. They've got full control at the moment, and they did for, you know, they've had full control for pretty much the last... I would say 10 minutes of gameplay pretty much if we include the, the last game. Uh, it's it's non-stop, it's relentless, and the peeps are really struggling here, and who can blame them? Illusion, very risky soft touch from him. But he does get it over to AJ, looks for the pass, over to Gyro. Great save, read that the whole way through, and now Illusion with his back turned, he can only do as much as getting that ball over to his own corner. Sipical takes his time. Off the backboard, he wants to see if he can get at least a mistake, maybe steal some boost on the way out. And it's always that question that you've got to ask yourself if you're on the peeps' defense. Is this a pass? Is this a solo play? And you've got to make that decision as quickly as you possibly can. Good bump. And Sipical has actually set up Gyro, who ends up missing it afterwards, but that uh, kind of ruined Rettles. Now off the backboard, Illusion needs to get it before Rettles oh, because my. that could happen. And somehow, it's kept out. That was saved. Now, Sipical's actually backpassing in reverse. Space Station continued to control the possession. Frustration is at an all-time high for the peeps who can't get a corner boost in their, in their half to save themselves here. They've just ditched each other to get uh, boosts at mid several times. And it's really the only play, it's the only way they can get boosts is to start leaving at <laughs> their defensive end, just going to middle instead. Space Station just are occupying their half constantly. That being said, the Peeps defense is holding strong once again. This is the second game in a row that they've been impressive with their shot stopping. And Space Station aren't willing to take the risks. Are they going to be punished? Every oh, what a time. shot! That is AJ! Pulls out the angle, and it's happened again. Clutch from the Peeps. They don't get many chances. When they do, they take them. On the pre-show, we heard the desk say, if they are going to beat Space Station Gaming, they have got to take every single chance they get. AJ has taken that advice to heart. What a double tap. And what a game we have been shown. Sipical off the infield pass again, <laughs> kept out. The peeps are showing one of their most impressive defensive forces. Uh -oh. However, a triple commit uh -oh. <laughs> to crush the spirit. Rells has got himself on the board. And after everything the peeps have done well, that will not go in the highlights. Yeah, they really have been so good at communicating who's going for what, who's blocking what shot, and just recovering as quickly as possible when the Space Station Gaming pressure plays come through, but that was not a good example of it. All three players up for the same ball, and Space Station get a kickoff goal as well. A couple of good 50-50s for them, and now it's a completely one-sided game. That was just too greedy there by Illusion, trying to chip the ball around the outside of a Space Station player who's right in his face. You already know Space Station are going to dodge into the ball there. 3-1. Um, you felt like it was coming. You know, Peeps got the last game against Run of Play. They can't keep uh, doing that in this matchup. They need to change something up, Shogun. If Space Station continue to dominate the midfield, the Peeps have really just got no chance. And they've, oh, actually, they've got a chance here. Wait, I thought that was going to find it on zero. Hold on a second. Will the Peeps have a cheeky kickoff strategy? I think they've got probably about 0.1 seconds left. If we were going into... That was the longest seconds. second ever. Yeah, it, it was. I think we're at 0.1 or something, but it still counts. Peeps try to keep the ball in the air. Let's see what they can do off it. Sipical, well, he's done enough. And Space Station Gaming huh. have held on to this one. Johnny, I'm glad that your job's the analysis because I'm just sat here loving life right now. This has been <laughs> a thoroughly entertaining series. Well, it's all about communication with the peeps. They're being tested, and for the most part, they're doing very well against this. Space Station Gaming continued to pressure them without really risking 
everything. Space Station Gaming are never all in, and they haven't been all in on any of the offensive plays that they've made uh, for the past two games. They're always leaving a backup plan. They're always leaving one player as an exit strategy if a 50-50 goes wrong or if somebody gets a missed touch. But the problem is that uh, eventually the peeps are going to crack. And I think that the peeps de defense is likely to break before Space Station's offensive rotation does. It's not a position that the peeps are going to win this series from. They have to try and get out of their half. They've got to get control of their boost because they keep on getting boost starved. Um, and it, it, if Space Station continue to just beat them to the corner boosts on every single attack, then this is going to keep happening. The peeps need to know that that Space Station strategy preemptively take the corner boosts away so that before a Space Station's attack comes at them, there's no boost there to be stolen. That's that's really the only play that they can be making right now. Yeah, for the peeps, I think, you know, it's been tested at this point. We are fully aware that the armor is incredibly strong, but now we need to see just how sharp the sword and lance can be. They've got to get themselves forward. They've got to get themselves more opportunities because the ones that they've had, they have been taken. Game number four underway. The peeps trailing by one game. They lose this, they'll be up against three match points against one of the most difficult teams in the region to take down. Arsenal going to start us off. I'll do too much more than getting the ball over to the corner. But this one does feel like it's must oh. win. And oh my <laughs> goodness! What? Illusion! Well, clip it, run it back, watch it later. Gyro one on one against Rattles. He took just a little bit too long. The peeps. Refuse to ever give anything up for free. Yeah, that's just crazy. I mean, the goalkeeping's been impressive already today, but they continue to add more and more saves to the highlight reel. It's again, though, it's like we said, it's not the highlight reel they want. They don't want a whole bunch of oh, saves. No. They need goals, oh, no. and now they're going to give one away. AJ loses control and loses a goal for his team. That was just not the first touch that he was looking for. He tried to catch that ball, but he just missed it. It bounced up in front of him, and the panic flip followed. Not ideal for uh, the peeps. Once again, Space Station in front. So the peeps have fallen into a bit of a rhythm here, which is outstanding world-class save, followed yeah. by what was that goal? Oh, dearie me, they've actually passed it straight off to Arsenal. He wants to double tap. Just a little touch onto the ball means that it won't be available to him. Now Gyro looks oh, for no! it. He's got what? it! The peeps what? with another worldie! That's even better than AJ's uh, little pop in game one. It's the exact same top corner. But Gyro from further out at a faster pace, and he chased away the Space Station defenders by driving in at that speed. They thought he was coming for the bump, but he's actually just popped it into the net himself. That's pretty crazy, though, to see two goals exactly like this, just a few games apart. First AJ, now Gyro. Under Evolution's going to pull one off as well. Oh. Well. They've gone for the quality rather than the quantity of chances here. Of, uh, the peeps. It's definitely not what many coaches would describe as a winning strategy, but for a viewer, oh. it's pretty entertaining. That's another soft goal, though. The peeps' defense oh, not looking oh, as good. Man. Oh, yeah, no. Johnny, go ahead. <laughs> oh, dear. I just don't know where on earth Gyro's going here. He's the last man back, and he's on the side wall. I mean,. There really is just no reason to be on the side. Well, fair enough, they, they're, they're sick of defending. And uh, we, we're talking about it. They need to find a way to get out of defense more reliably. That's not it. You know, you don't send your third man up onto the side wall when a 50-50 is about to happen. Or, you're, you know, it's, it's, it's just as much Space Station's ball as theirs. The counterattack is definitely not on. This oh one my. is, though, typical. Will never be denied from that range. 3-1, Space Station starting to take control in a bit more of a dominating fashion. Well, we've got the gridiron coming to Rocket League very soon, and that was very typical of what you'd expect to see in some American football. Just launched it from the quarterback over to an awaiting space station. Typical. Two goals up. Gyro wants to try and make it one immediately. Flicks it over to Illusion. Just took too long, though. Rattles bumping away at AJ. They couldn't read the bounce. Three minutes left. And uh, whilst many of the games have so far resulted in the peeps trying to just chase up, they've got to keep these games, you know, within one. That's the, probably about as bad as it can get for them. You just don't know how they're going to see enough offense to get two more goals. Yeah, it's a problem. Uh, Space Station just haven't given them any chances. Their, their, their pressure is completely 
is strangling uh, the peeps here. The peeps are, you know, good enough to win against the majority of the teams in North America playing like this. You know, if, if you defend this well, you're going to pick up counter-attack goals um, against pretty much anyone who's not the exact Gyro! top three. Gyro in a mind game on both Space Station defenders. So that is something we haven't seen from the peeps today. And that is such great news for peeps fans. Huge read by Gyro. See you later, Space Station Gaming. Peeps are alive in game four, in game four so. That was disgusting. And Gyro yeah. out of literally nothing. All that takes from Space Station is contact. And that play is over. Gyro had the faith that that was going to work out. It was either the faith or the desperation. Either way, it is a one goal game. And we know that the peeps can score from anywhere. They just need that one play that can go their way. That one time they can leave somebody in the midfield and actually make them a target man for a, a good clear. Here is Gyro. He's got two. What a time to get yourself a hat trick this would be. Is that a soft hit? Actually might be the best thing for this team. They've got nobody available though in the midfield. AJ on target as far as Arsenal. He's going to try and chase him down. That 100 boost didn't show up quite what he was after. Still can get it on his way out. Minute and 20 here, Johnny. The peeps are going to be the team that need to now, due to Space Station Gaming, what Space Station Gaming to have done to them all series long. Yeah, and all season long as well. But here comes Gyro. Decides to flick this one out into the middle for AJ, but that's a slow shot. Too slow to be of any threat to SSG. I think Gyro's the target man right now. He's the guy that needs to be getting up front. He's scored several top quality goals today two in this game um, but you know the aerial plays as well not just the ground plays from gyro have been absolutely quality today so usually it's aj that you think of as the playmaker for uh for the peeps but gyro today has been on another level i want to see more oh, from him in offense. that's a chance for aj but it's just oh. too slow that one needed to be on target and it definitely needs to be a lot faster than that that's an aj that hit a double tap from almost the ceiling earlier on and he just couldn't quite hold his nerve enough to get that shot with power into the top corner. 22 seconds. Still the peeps putting pressure on. But Arsenal easily wins the race. That'll do it. Off the crossbar. Oh. Rettles is there to finish it off. And the peeps, they threw everything into this, but they just weren't quick enough. And that's fair enough. You know, you're losing by a goal when you're in the final 20 seconds and chances have been few and far between uh, for the peeps this series. So, you know, they decided that that was a ball worth going for. They thought they could get, uh, they could surprise Space Station Gaming by playing it, uh, but Space Station Gaming already. And this lead was just a bit too much to come back from. The peeps have defended so bravely um, but it has not been effective overall against SSG, who are just a bit too good and a bit too consistent in offense. They haven't left any openings on the counterattacks for the peeps to really play this style to perfection. Um, you know, on another day, this might work against SSG, but today, SSG look brilliant, and uh, they look like they're ready to make a run through this lower bracket. Look, I'm just saying, Illusion might be going for a new car. Maybe. What's it gonna I don't be? know. I, we we got to see. What are we going to see? I don't know. After yesterday, seeing uh, seeing the danger of Dominus. Yeah. I'd uh, I'd expect to see a Dominus. He's probably just gone Dominus, out to, yeah. uh, to change probably like the difference of like one color shade on his car. You know, this this blue wasn't quite blue enough yeah. for me. He's got to change the wheels or something. Uh, mm. I, I, I would love to see Dominus Solution, honestly, because it's it's that factor oh, of unpredictability God. that's missing for uh, from them you know just it, they should all come back in the dominus to be honest just everybody switch switch it up you're harder to read um if you're playing the dominus it's it's just a fact so the peeps have not had any real tricks for ssg today they've they've made some big some really big plays gyro in this last game had some fantastic goals uh, but when it comes to their touches, Space Station Gaming are reading almost every single one of them, yeah. and they're countering every single one of them. It's only when it goes to it gets to mind games, uh, for like both of the goals that Gyro scored in the last game, first faking a demo play and then popping the ball instead, and then getting the double mind game on the second goal. The, yes, that, that's been working out for uh, for the peeps, but they, they've got to be a bit more tricky. They've got to be le uh, less predictable with their clears. Oh, the last game was the first time I believe they've outshot 
uh, space station in this series. And I will say, that is the most amount of chances we have seen them create, especially in those last two minutes where they did look very good. Here is Rettles, though, who is having the sort of series that you'd want to see from a player that has got to do a long run through today. Arsenal helping his teammate out. Now, what have we got from Illusion? Oh, it's a Fennec. Yeah, the Fennec not quite as popular in uh, America as it is over in EU RLCSX. So it is something a little bit different. Although Arsenal's been rocking one all day. Oh. And there's Arsenal with the opening goal. Just in the right place at the right time. And unfortunately for Gyro, he's in the wrong place as third man today, where he's been excellent in attack. He's sort of uh, failed his team as the third man back. Two games in a row now. That is not something they can afford to do when Space Station are playing as well as they are. Unfortunately, oh, Jaro collides into AJ. And uh, he's now taken it away from Illusion and just handed it to Sipical, really. We already know can play out very well from his own backboard. Now, Space Station Gaming controlling the pace. Control the series the whole way through. And uh, it's hard to understate just the task that's ahead, especially with Beeps not looking great here in game number five. Gotta get this back into their own rhythm. Up goes Gyro. Just a soft touch from him. AJ pops it to himself. It's gonna be up against Rails in midair. And uh, it's very difficult to try and faint out Rails midair. He's always just gonna aim directly for the middle of the ball. He doesn't care about you. We'll just power clear one more time. AJ forced to get rid. Yeah, that's why the double mind game is so impressive that Gyro pulled off in the last game because Space Station are always trying to challenge from goal side so that any flip into the ball is going to cover the flick and the potential mind game. Now that was somewhat open there, but you can't really expect it to be open from the Peeps' perspective. They've had a couple of chances there that they might not even be aware of. They're definitely going to need to take one at some point because Space Station are likely to score again, even with the heroic defense that's been on display from the Peeps. Super cool. Plays it to himself off the backboard. Really is just so safe with the way he's been protecting the ball in that side of the field. Just make sure that you can always at least stay close and involved in the play. Gyro harassing Sipical on the goal line. Uh -oh. Is it going to be enough to keep it away from offense? Yes, it is. Rettles turns himself around. Second touch from him off the corner. Gyro does well just to not take the bait. Don't try and challenge over there. Wait for it to just settle over the top of your head and you can just take control after the fact. Peeps, half the game done. Still need themselves a goal. Might come from this off the backboard. And a couple of players colliding into each other, but Rell's still in the midfield. Lays it off to Sipical. Lucian is in the way. Yeah, just a couple of minutes left if the Peeps are going to make something happen here. We've had two shots on target so far. Neither one of them all that threatening. They had, I think the best chance of the game was... Uh, Kind of a surprise that they didn't really expect to be a wide open net, so the crossbar and uh, touch made sense. Space Station are playing very well in these awkward little positions here. Arsenal now looking for the route to go through the ceiling. Fails to get there, but there are so many ways for SSG to get the ball to the peeps net and then put it in. You just feel like their options are limitless. Uh, such a creative team, it's a diverse offense. But the peeps don't really have many. And uh, now you can see the frustration is starting to kick in. They're trying desperately to press up and look for any kind of opening. Now they've got one. Gyro skips in field. And he's going to go for the air dribble. He had uh, AJ demoing in front of him. Now Illusion's going to shoot far post. Wrestles is there for it. Oh, no. The attack's fizzled, and they're going to have to start all over again. That's a better look for the peeps, though. They actually had Space Station on the back foot there. AJ going to continue on. Can he take it the whole oh! way? Save into the crossbar. Still the peeps. They can try and take it. AJ, though, used up all of his boosts on that first attack. He's one on one against Arsenal. Illusion joins oh, him. It's an own goal. 2 0 up. Space Station Gaming look to book their spot in the next round. Oh, good. Heard uh, the peeps here. AJ was boost starved. He's just trying to cover as much of the goal as possible. And, you know, credit to him. I think he had every single shot on target saved there. And he's just unfortunately landed on the ball as it bounces back off the post. Space Station ahead by two. It's a deserved lead, but it's a sad one for the peeps to have to concede. They played well today. You know, they've not really done all that much wrong. They've been out of position a couple of times with their third man. 
They've missed it a couple of shots, especially in the last game. But overall, this has been a great performance. Space Station are just too good, Shogun. And, you know, this is what happens when Space Station play as well as they currently are. Terrifying prospect for the rest of the bracket. As if Space Station can keep this up, there's not many teams who will be able to stop them. NRG have obviously got the best chance. Rogue as well in the upper bracket. But, uh, wow, what a terrifying look for SSG today. They've peaked at the right time. It's just been a, a gradual erosion of the defense we've seen from the peeps as they have got one back. Couldn't get too many kickoff plays happening throughout this series, but they could do have a few here. And yet it, it's been, uh, you know, unfortunately expected for the peeps to deteriorate as they did in defense. Um, you know, we talked about this. They defended so bravely in the second game to pull back uh, for the win there after being stuck in their goal for so long. But... Um, you, you always expect the, the defense to fall apart before Space Station's offense does. Space Station are so composed. They've got so much experience on their lineup now. Um, and, and, you know, when they're playing this well, you, you just never really see them fall off. They're such a consistent team at producing this level of Rocket League. Um, but yeah, you're just not, you're not going to get a chance, at least from Space Station playing poorly, to get out of your half. It had to come from the peeps being a bit more tricky with how they dribble the ball out of defense, how they clear the ball, and it didn't happen. Uh, they couldn't figure out the puzzle. Space Station Gaming now just scoring for fun. I think Arsenal, yeah, I did get that one after Cypical attempted to steal it from him. <laughs> but yeah, overall, a, a great tournament assist, for the Peeps okay. here. He's d he deserves at least an assist point. Nah, he, he was going for the goal, mate. Cypical <laughs> never happy with anywhere but top of the scoreboard. Arsenal's at the top right now. Just to oh, I could only imagine. Imagine this team being in the same position we saw Reno Vitality in uh, a few yeah. seasons oh, back. <laughs> <laughs> Just with Rettles being the one to decide it, that would have been even better. But this is going to be the peeps dropping out. A valiant performance for them, but Space Station Gaming, their offense was an onslaught. They move on to the next round. Just, just unreal. Um, unreal consistency from SS3 to constantly attack and leave zero openings um, for the opponents to counterattack you with. Very, very impressive stuff. Uh, you know, picking their shots, picking what opportunities to go for. And even after losing the second game, sticking to the game plan. Because they knew, you know, we, we, yeah, we've lost that game, but what we're doing was working. If we just get these guys in the back corner and keep on stealing their boost, mistakes will come. They did come. Um, but still, though, a great tournament for the peeps overall after dropping to the lower bracket as early as they did to make it this far and to lose to Space Station Gaming. No shame in that. Uh, so this is still a, a, a great result for the peeps. Um, Space Station Gaming were just too good today. So if you thought that was an underdog matchup, wait until you see what we've got for you after our break as the current leaders of the region, Team Envy, take on a resurging Jamal Jabari.